Well, a bus driver is dead around 20 students hurt after a trip turned tragic in Denver. The incident leaving parents across the country concerned now. KBOY 2's Lauren Clark explains how this crash happened. It was supposed to be a safe trip home as football players from a Denver high school were returning back after an away game in California. But the driver took the wrong route at an airport terminal, costing her her life. A school bus carrying around 28 students and four adults smashed into a concrete pillar Sunday afternoon. Investigators say the bus driver picked up the students coming back from an away football game at the airport and then took a route at the terminal that didn't make much sense. Should not have been coming back up, but did. And then uh, ran off the uh, right side of the roadway, struck one of the upright pillars that holds the ramp that takes us up to uh, level six east. The female bus driver died at the scene from impact, while up to 20 passengers are in nearby hospitals. We do have some that have uh, different levels of injury. While passengers got out using the emergency door, our CBS affiliate in Denver reports their injuries are ranging from fair to critical. The bus driver's name and identity have not been released. And police are still investigating this incident, but in the meantime, students from the high school are receiving messages of support on social media from their classmates. In the studio, Lauren Clark, KBOI 2 News. And school bus drivers must go through extensive training before they get the okay to drive students. The requirements do vary by state, though. Here in Idaho, school bus drivers must have a commercial driver's license with a passenger endorsement. It requires a test and other qualifications along the way. Bus drivers are required to do training in the classroom and behind the wheel. They're also asked to submit a record of that training and uh, annual driving record checks take place. And they must also have a physical exam.